Welcome back to another episode of the You, Me, and Jesus podcast. I am so excited that you are here with me today. We are in this 10-part series as we talk about hearing God here in the new year of 2023. Now, this is episode six where we're talking about hearing God with your thoughts. Uh, But what we are doing is you've already missed uh, five other episodes if you haven't uh, checked in. And so we've had uh, five episodes on YouTube and then five on the podcast walking you through 10 different ways where you can hear God. And so if you have not listened to any of those or watched any of those, please go back and take a watch or listen to those. If you have, I want to hear from you. I want to hear and by you writing a review, giving us five stars, commenting, liking, and subscribing on YouTube, all the things, because all I know is, is I'm putting this out. And if you talk back to me, that's how I know which parts you loved the most. And then maybe the part that you did not like. And so I want to hear from you. So today we are talking about hearing the way you hear God is one of the ways is through your thoughts. I want to um, pull up a scripture really quickly. And the scripture that I'm searching on Google is our thoughts are not our own. Isaiah 55, eight through nine, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your th- than yours and my thoughts than your thoughts. It's really important to know something. Here is how in the Bible it talks about God saying that what I think is not what you think and what you, what you think or, or, or what have you, right? And so a lot of times we will say, well, if our thoughts are not God's thoughts, then how can we hear God through our thoughts. So here's the deal. One of the things that I have learned about God and my relationship with God is the closer we get to God, the more we become like God. Okay. Like the closer we we get to God, the more time we spend to him with him, the more intimate our relationship becomes, the more we're like obedient. And we just learn to just uh, operate with God and flow with him. Then what we tend to do and think and want to do and all that starts to change. For example, you know, like before you really knew God, Christian or whatever, if you wanted to engage in intimacy with someone of the opposite sex, you would if you wanted to, right? But once you become a Christian and you get into an intimate relationship with God, your desire, like, yes, you may still want to engage in intimacy with someone, but because you love him so much, you're like, but I don't want to do that outside of the way that God wants me to do that because your ways, your thoughts and your desires are now what his are. When we talk about like hearing God through your thoughts, this is in the sense of once you start on this journey of like of obedience, of like wanting to be with him the way that he is and how he is and navigate and all that type of stuff with him. Okay. So I'll give you an example. So remember years ago, I used to have a relaxer in my hair, meaning I put a chemical in my hair to make it straight. And I did that my whole life. One day I got filled with the Holy Spirit and I started to develop this close, personal, intimate relationship relationship with God. And all of a sudden I had this desire to want to see what my hair looked like uh, curly. I have never had the desire day in my life, but suddenly I had this desire. I wanted to start seeing my, my hair, what it looked like curly. And then I scheduled a time and a friend of mine cut it all off. I think about that now and even back then. And I was like, what in the world was going on? It was like, I was having a, an inward change and it was manifesting outwardly. I then, bec- I wanted to, I wanted to see myself, right? In a way that I hadn't seen myself. And so I'm not saying that God wanted me to be bald headed or anything like that. But what I am saying was that something was happening with me. And so as a result, when I went down that road, that's what kicked in my creativity, how I started my first business, Return of the Curl, where I had this big natural hair show and I did all the different things with that hair care business, which then launched me into, you know, video marketing, live stream, teaching, coaching, and where I am today, like y'all see me talking and teaching today because I started going on this journey with God. I remember, uh, I think it was two Two years ago or so, I had this thought, hey, you owe your dad $1,800. Write him a check. I don't have desires like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? $1,800. Do you know what I could do with $1,800, you know? And so that those aren't my thoughts. I was, that was God coming into my thoughts saying, hey, you owe your dad $1,800. You should honor that and send him the money. 
or when God told me to write a letter to my ex-husband apologizing to him, not because I didn't cause the divorce to end, uh, the, the relationship to end, but because of just others that he wanted me to apologize for. Those are not my thoughts. Like I know, uh-uh. but because I started developing this pl- close personal relationship with God, my desires, my thoughts became his thoughts. So what started to happen, started to happen is that I start thinking the way that he thinks because now we are close. And so we just, we just think the same way when me and my best friend, when we're single, we talk about men and all that type of stuff. We have the same type of thoughts because we have been close for so long. You know what I mean? One of the ways you can hear from God when you're praying is you start hearing him tell you this and then this and then this. And one of the ways to know that that thought was his and not yours is to ask yourself this question. If it's going to take you closer to God, then it's godly. It's not, it's not the devil. If it's going to take you away from God, then that's the devil. But also once you know, okay, this is not, this is, this is not the devil. This is me or God. Then ask yourself this question. When you hear this answer, is this a normal, natural thing that you would do? Like, is this just a normal, natural thing? that you would do, that you would say, that you would think. If it is not, then there is a high possibility that what you're hearing is God. I'm not saying it's always that way, but really ask yourself that question of like, I'm asking God this and I'm this, this, and this, and yada, 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 whatever. Ask yourself the question of typically, if I was answering this, what would be my typical response? And if your response is not typically what you're hearing, then oftentimes that you're hearing. God. Now you still want to make sure that you try it and you ask him for more confirmations. Just don't always go on because it's opposite what you normally would think or whatever, but it is an opportunity to go, huh, maybe that's a thought that has come from God. If I'm making a really big decision or something, I won't just go on that literal thought. I will go, okay, I heard that. I'm noting that I'm going to continue praying and I'm going to ask God for some additional confirmations because I want to make sure that I'm thinking the right thing and I'm making the right choice or whatever, but God does come in your thoughts. And just remember the closer you get to a person, God included, the more you begin to think like them, the more you begin to act like them, speak like them, all those types of things. And so that's one of the ways that you are able to hear God. This is episode number six of our series of hearing God here on the You, Me, and Jesus podcast. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel so you can get all the episodes that come out every single Sunday. And then if you're on the podcast, make sure you hit download and subscribe and be sure to give us a five-star review. So if you love the You, Me, and Jesus podcast, make sure you go to all the podcast players so you can listen to the podcast. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play.